Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that will be very informative to all of you all who are questioning what's the purpose of all these different oils that people put in their hair, what's the reason for it, why, how much are they, where do you get them from, all that stuff. I'm going to just break it down for you guys just because I know it can be very confusing whenever you're starting out. So basically just describing different essential oils that you can use for your hair and then just carrier oils as well. So, so stay tuned and I'll show you all the benefits for all these different oils as well as what they will do to your hair, how you use them, all that good stuff. Up. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Basically, we're going to start out with essential oils. Essential oils are the little ones. I don't know if you guys have ever like seen them before, but they're like the little bitty oils that you can get um, at like Sprouts or your Whole Foods store. So that's why I personally get them from, you can get them from like natural grocers, um, Sprouts. So we're going to start with lavender oil, basically. And if you guys see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes because I took like so many notes of all this stuff. Um, but first off, lavender smells amazing it is a good treatment for dandruff and itching and then also it is helpful in controlling breakage and improving hair growth um, also it is um, known to treat alopecia which is just the loss of hair um, and they can also use like be using those patches to help grow back that hair also daily massages with lavender oil has proven to um, help regrowth and just growth overall with that hair so definitely recommend lavender oil and it just smells so good I use this with my castor oil just because I don't like the scent of castor oil then um, I can also just drop a few drops of this in a conditioner or a co-wash or I can also drop some more drops of this um, within like my oil mixture that I do for uh, moisturizing and sealing so peppermint oil is extremely interesting <laughs> because with this oh then also I forgot to tell you this um, some of these brands are just now essential oils you can usually get these off Amazon um, and then you want to make sure it says 100 pure like whatever oil it is so this one says 100 100 percent pure peppermint oil you want to make sure there's no other ingredients within any of these oils that I'm going to mention to you today so this is peppermint oil the benefits of this it helps stimulate the blood flow this is very important because it will help your hair receive the proper nourishment that it is needing so this will lead to hair growth um, so once it is in your scalp there's like this tingly feeling um, very like minty-esque feeling and that's just basically um, the stimulation of your blood flow within your scalp which is awesome and how I use this I usually just put this in my conditioners um, so one of my conditions I just kind of put like two drops of this and then also I add some of the other oils I'm going to be mentioning to you today as well but I will show you that in a later video so it can be completely detailed and all that good stuff well with both of these you only want to use like two to three drops um, because they're really strong so at first you may not think they're that strong until you like until it hits you so do not put more than two or three drops in something that is like this big so if it's a bottle like that big or something like that I recommend only two to three drops now on to carrier oils um, basically I just use these to moisturize and seal my hair um, so the sealing part is using a carrier oil to really seal in that moisture and so I'm going to show you guys the different type of oils and the benefits of each of those so to start out we're gonna start with jojoba oil which I have right here this is just a hundred pure 100 percent pure jojoba oil and again remember to check the ingredients to make sure there's nothing else in it besides what that oil is so just it just says pure Simon Diazia whatever um, pure jojoba seed oil so that's all it says in the um, ingredients so just FYI so jojoba oil has a lot of different benefits and it is like it is argued that it is like the best carrier oil to some extent and I'm gonna tell you guys why so jojoba oil penetrates the scalp and hair shaft and it loosens and dissolves this like hardened buildup that you may have which is really important because if you're putting all that stuff in your hair and you're like oh I'm moisturizing my hair but there's a lot of buildup it's not necessarily getting to where it needs to get to so that's the importance of jojoba oil and then also it's really good for hair that may be dry so if your hair is dry you could possibly try jojoba oil it is really good moisturizer for dry hair I personally use jojoba oil um, just to moisturize and seal my hair um, and then I have like a moisture mix where I'll put all these different oils in there and I'm definitely making a video for you guys because you guys have asked me to do that but I am going to do that for you guys but I just basically have a bottle where I mix all these different oils and all this like little concoction of oils um, and I do add jojoba oil in it I don't add a lot just because um, as you see this bottle is really small 
um, and this is kind of pricey so just FYI so then olive oil like one of my favorite oils is olive oil with this you just want to make sure that it is saying extra virgin olive oil and then again going into those ingredients making sure that it is just olive oil in it but you can purchase this from Walmart you can purchase it from Target any grocery store will have olive oil so that is literally where I get my olive oil this is nothing special I don't pick it up from anywhere special um, just go to Walmart into the olive oil aisle just making sure it is saying extra virgin olive oil because that is extremely extremely important because if it's just regular olive oil it's not going to do anything for your hair so then another benefit of olive oil is not that pricey um, compared to some of the other oils like jojoba oil or avocado oil and all that good stuff but yeah so another benefit of olive oil is that it helps to prevent and cure any hair loss that you may be having at the time so olive oil as well as all these oils are honestly just really 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 good so definitely try olive oil if that is something you're struggling with so for us permed and relaxed girls we know that those excessive chemicals can cause um, hair damage but that's what I'm here for to help you guys with that um, because you can have healthy hair and still be relaxed so just knock that myth out of the water anyway so olive oil is really really good for relaxed permed and natural hair it's good for all types of hair to be completely honest but relaxed and um, perm girls do need a little bit more love when it comes to moisture and oil so I would definitely recommend olive oil one it's really inexpensive two it's accessible three it's just an amazing oil and then also olive oil contains antioxidants that helps to promote healthy hair and a healthy scalp overall with this I just use this to um, seal my hair whenever I'm moisturized like I was saying before um, then I'll also add olive oil and then some of the other oils into um, my conditioner or my co-wash uh, mix just to add a little bit more oomph to that little product that I may be using so um, my co-wash and my deep conditioner I do add oils to those so coconut oil is like I said one of my favorite oils um, it comes in like a really big container like this and then now you can also purchase it from Walmart um, and it didn't used to be like that they didn't really have like um, extra virgin coconut oil before so it's really good that they have it now but you can pick it up from um, let's say you can pick it up from olive oil you can pick it up from Walmart you can pick it up from like natural grocers sprouts all those whole food type of stores it contains vitamin E and vitamin K and um, minerals such as iron within it it also is considered one of the best natural nutritions for the hair um, along with olive and jojoba oil it also helps in regrowth of damaged hair and then it also provides the essential proteins required for nourishing damaged hair. So coconut oil is actually really important um, just because I feel like there's a there's not any oil that can really do what coconut oil does. So it may not be like the best oil in your opinion or my opinion or anybody's opinion, but it does have extreme benefits to it. Also, of course, it can soften and condition your scalp and your hair. I use this to... Um, again, moisturizing and sealing my hair, and then I also will add it to my um, my conditioners, my co-wash, all that good stuff. One thing about coconut oil is it does come in like a hard form. I don't know if you guys can like tell, but it is like a hard form. It's not like olive oil how it's like loose. So if it's kept in like a room temperature type of environment, it will be a little bit hard. All you have to do is you can just scoop some out and then rub it in between your hands, and it will turn into like a really nice um, like really lightweight oil type of sheen it can also be used to like add that shine to hair if you don't want to necessarily use like a a product you can use something very natural and coconut oil is awesome for that I also use this um, to moisturize and seal my hair whenever my hair is straight because the other oils are just a little bit more heavy so coconut oil is my go-to for my, whenever my like actual hair is straight I think this was probably like $10 for this really big can and I still haven't even gotten halfway through it so it'll last you a while as well so grapeseed oil is like awesome for moisturizing and conditioning your hair just because it won't leave your hair feeling like greasy or oil or anything um, you can also purchase this from Walmart um, or you can go to Sprouts or Whole Foods all that good stuff again this is a hundred percent grapeseed oil and then you can check in the ingredients just to make sure it is pure grapeseed oil the grapeseed oil helps to lock in that moisture and prevent frizz so it's awesome for moisturizing and sealing your hair and then it also another benefit is that it is very inexpensive you can get this from Walmart with your olive oil and your coconut oil and you have a good amount of oils it also helps for split ends and brittle hair then it also promotes relaxation of the hair follicles and prevents hair loss which is important we want to prevent hair loss also grapeseed oil is known to like strengthen your hair and give it that natural shine also grapeseed oil contains vitamin E 
Some of my absolute favorite oil to use is castor oil because I have truly seen the benefits of this oil. Um, one of the main benefits of it is that it really does strengthen your hair. It really strengthens it and it thickens your hair. So I promise you if you guys put this religiously on your hair for like two months and put on like your new growth and your ends all that good stuff, I promise you will see results. Definitely try castor oil if you look if you have thin hair and you want it to get it thicker or if you're trying to grow out your edges or anything, get those ends stronger castor oil is the way to go um, one of the downfalls about castor oil is that it does have a really 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 strong scent and that's why I use my where is it that's why I use my lavender oil to mix into this that way it's not as strong and then it smells really good with the lavender oil remember only two drops though two drops it nourishes hair and prevents scalp from drying by retaining moisture then also it is added to hair care products to help seal, seal, soften, and visibly thicken hair. So like I was saying before, it's really, really, really good for that. It does have a really strong scent um, and it is pretty, well it doesn't look thick there, but it is pretty thick. So last but not least is avocado oil. Um, I have run out of that. Um, I've It comes like in kind of a little too, kind of like the jojoba oil, but just like a like a bigger one, a little bigger one. But it also is a little bit more pricey than the other oils that I've showed you today. Um, so some of the benefits of avocado oil is that it is full of vitamins that your hair needs um, such as vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin D, and then also potassium. I use avocado oil just as well as I use my other carrier oils just in my moisturizing and sealing routine. Um, I use it in like my little moisture mix that I have um, and then I also will mix that into my conditioners and co-washes as well. So yeah, that's all for the oils that I use. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking me like, what's the purpose of all these oils? Do I need them all? And the question, or the answer to that question is that you do not need all of these oils. I say my top three oils will be coconut oil, castor oil, and extra virgin olive oil. So besides that, if you guys have any other remaining questions, if you guys have any other um, videos that you want me to make to answer any of you guys' questions, just let me know down below in the comments. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching and your support um, thus far. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!